Passage by the forest side, a mother called her near Take this cake and wine, she said, to grandmother so dear Stay upon the path, my child, don't wander or delay Yes, mother, little red replied, I'll go straight on my way Oh, a little red riding her walked through the woods so green A cloak of red upon her head, the brightest ever seen Beware the shadows in the trees, the dangers understood A tale unfolds of courage bold, of brave little red riding hood Along the path she met a wolf, who grinned from ear to ear Good day to you, dear child, he said, his voice so sly and clear Where are you going all alone beneath the leafy sty? To grandmother's house, she answered him, a quarter league nearby. He spoke of flowers on the path. Why not pick a few? Saw the blooms and thought alone. That sounds nice to do. She strayed among the daisies bright. Forgot her mother's word. Meanwhile, the wolf ran swift ahead. His wicked laughter her. A wolf arrived and knocked upon the cottage door so thin. Who's there? Called grandmother inside. It's me, he, he said. Let me in. She lifted latch, he entered fast and swallowed her so thin. Then donned her cap and lay in wait, the sheets up to his chin. She knocked upon the door and heard, Come in, my dear, come in. She entered and approached the bed, a strange feeling within. Oh, grandmother, your voice is strange, and what big eyes you own. All the better to see you with, he said in gruffest tone. Oh, little red riding hood stands by the wolf disguised. A cloak of red upon her head, confusion in her eyes. What did he is you have, grandmother, and have so large a wolf? All the better to hear and hold, he said in voice so gruff. But grandmother, what a big mouth you have. She said in fright. All the better to eat your wit. He roared with all his might. He leapt to her and in one gulp he swallowed red complete. Then lay back down with belly full, his dark feet now replete. A hunter passing by the house heard sounds both deep and loud. The old woman must be him. Thought and entered on a vow. He saw the wolf asleep in bed, his stomach large and round. That a wicked beast. The hunter cried without a single sound. He took his knife and opened up the sleeping wolf's great hide. Out sprang the girl and grandmother, safe from the beast inside. Oh, thank you. Little Red exclaimed, we thought we'd meet our end. Be careful now, Hunter said, and on the path attend. They filled the wolf with heavy stones, his body sewn up tight. He woke and tried to run away, but felt the crushing weight. He fell down dead and all were glad, the danger now was past. A lesson learned, a tale retold, a wisdom that will last. Oh, little red riding hood walked safely through the wood. A cloak of red upon her head, she now Understood. Beware the shadows and the wolves that hide behind a grin. Stay true and heed the words of those who guide you every day.